And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel. And this time, AK Blade has brought you the latest from Kaiser. Kaiser. Civivi. Kensep. Zero tolerance. And a new brand to the knife world, CMB Made Knives. Ooh. Man, Kaiser has really started soaking up the spotlight the past couple of weeks. Mm. I hope this week's releases are worth the hype. Last week was pretty good. They were. Well, let's not keep the AKers waiting any longer. We've got the first knife up on the table, and that is the Kaiser Mini Bay Folder. Yeah, so we're going to give you the specs first and the info. So it is offered in two versions, which is, I have to say, so Kaiser. So there is a red, white, and black one. And there's also a black and white one. C has uh, procured us both. I know. Yeah, so this back flipper is 4.76 inches overall with a satin finish on this version. 1.89 inch S35VN steel blade with jimping. Plain edge, I guess that's where the mini comes in, you know, 1.8 inches. The handle is black, white, and red G10. It sports a tip-up po stainless pocket clip with Liz and Azo, the designers, printed on it. Lastly, this slip joint has a single large barrel spacer, weighs just 2.01 ounce, and comes with a pouch and cleaning cloth. Yeah, I'm not sure. Quick mention, the other version has a black stonewash blade pocket clip, liners, and barrel spacers. Wow, look how cool Just for your knife info. Whew. And both are only $69. Right here. Landknife.com. Yep. All right. You can do, uh, you know, your quick little review first. Oh, my quick little review first? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, you gave me this one. Yes, I did. Well, you got to be honest. Money's Not a slip joint one. fan, which you've heard so many times before. <sighs> but... It does have a nice little lock to it. It does. It should. I mean, you know, you can see the mark on my hand there where I'm pressing. You gotta give it a little bit of pressure, but it's still a slip joint. Yeah. I do like the flipper portion though. <sighs> oh, and the 154CM part. Okay, I like that too. I think Kaiser has done a few small pocket knives, like this one. Not, not exactly like this one, but you know, it's they're similar in size. Not a huge fan of the back flipper, but somebody needs to keep on their job because they are not scrolling. <laughs> Is that me? <sighs> what do you mean? It's not your cup Jeez. of tea? <sighs> Look, I like the design. Yeah. It's interesting. I like the blade shape. I like, like you said, the 154CM high quality-ness. It opens well. I just... I don't know if it's, I don't think it's my pocket ADC. You know, I was so mesmerized by your in-depth knowledge of the knife that I didn't even realize. I actually thought that you were just going to talk about, I mean, I was I was into it. It's just not my cup of it's tea. Not, it's not. Not my pocket ADC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what I did there. So, <laughs> <laughs> next up. CMB made knives. Kaisane? Kaisane. Kaisane. Okay, same. Call the off. That's what I say. Go ahead. All right, well, this is again offered in two options. Yeah. Blackout and Green Micarta, we've which got, we have them. We've got have both. both of them. Yeah, not right one, here. but both. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's designed by T-I-G-U-A-S-S. -S. I'm not sure. This front flipper line of lock is all about style and usability. Mm -hmm. The K110 steel blade is... 3.14 inch long, 0.126 thick, with a stone wash finish and indentation on the spine for precision cutting. Yes, thank you. The harpoon style blade has a tough piercing point, plain edge, and operates smoothly when deployed by the front flipper. Very mm -hmm. smoothly. And comes in at about 59, call it 60, on the HRC scale. Uh oh. That's great. Did I put a C up? Mm hmm. Knife also has a tip up pocket clip lanyard hole, full back backspacer, and this one is the green micarta. This one is the black micarta, black stone wash finish blade, and black stone washed hardware. Wow. Finally, it comes with a black nylon pouch. Cleaning cloth. There it is. And either one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just oh, trying to wow. see. Oh, wow. 
That is a nice cleaning cloth. <laughs> Either one is just $65.85 at AtlanticKnife.com. Really? There's the bing. Feel it. It's like a thick material. It's really different from like a... Wow. I know. You got some pants that aren't this thick. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. That's great. I'm not sure how you would know that. I see you wear them in the winter. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So, I like these. They remind me of several different Best Techs kind of all rolled into one, like, mm -hmm. you know, the tulip had like a front flipper on it, and then a couple other ones were like this size. And I think the steel is synonymous with D2, right? It's part of the D2 family tree. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. And I do like the blade cut. And I like there's a place for my finger, you know, for extra control. Mm. I like that. Would prefer more color options and not being a front flipper. Because everybody knows I don't love front flippers. But if it's, if it's what the people want, who am I to stand in their way? So, what about you? What about me? There was a bug. <laughs> Hold on. There's a spider. <laughs> don't, don't even. <laughs> Nobody will get that one. No, All right. Won't, but that's so, okay. what do I think? Well, I mean, I like the blade style, like you said. It's very nice. I mean, it I, is. It almost looks like it dips and comes back up, even mm -hmm. though I don't think it actually does. I'm not a big fan of the front flipper like you also, but I do like this knife. Yeah. Especially for the price. Mm -hmm. I think I like the Micarta one better. I've never been a black blade They're both person. Micarta. I meant the green Micarta one. Oh, I got you. I yep. like the green one better myself. I figured you but, would say that. Because it was green, so. So from the Kai Same, we jump to the CMB's other blade, the Prowler. Ooh. Yeah, so again, offered in two versions, gray and bronze. Mm -hmm. These are much more my style, I have to say. Front flipper studs right there. Or not front flipper studs, just flipper studs. There it is. High quality materials, packs a punch design. I really like the size of this one. And the designer is very memorable as well. <laughs> Designed by Jelly Jerry Design. Yes. Go ahead. These frame locks are 8.46 inch overall. Have a 3.75 inch bowler M390 steel blade with plain edge, jimping, and a flipper stud for deployment. Yes. Look at that. So handles are titanium offered in gray and bronze. As we mentioned, we have the gray one here today. So there's a gold pivot cap accent, titanium backspacer, tip up pocket clip, all for the low, low price of $245.95. At langknife.com. Yep. All right. And of course, these two come with pouches and uh, mm -hmm. cleaning cloths. So you want to know my opinion on these? Yeah, you can go first. All right. well, I like the knives. But, I mean, we're in that price range now where there are a lot of options. There are... And you're just not going to buy tons of $245 knives, maybe if you're lucky, one a month. If you're lucky. And if you're a little more lucky, you might get two. But, I mean, is it nice? Yeah, I would buy it. So there's going to be people out there that really like this knife. I like the blade shape. Yeah. So, Me too. you know. I have a sneaky suspicion, though, that this company is probably owned by another one like best tech or cgrb because it has a lot of their similar looks and the materials the quality and the price it all kind of lines up pouch cleaning cloth yeah. i do like this one more than this one i have to say for a lot of reasons i i tend to like the the um Higher end knives that Best Tech does, although I think I like the Platypus, which is a little lower end, and the uh, Texel is good. I think the bronze one might be calling my name, though. You know what is calling our AKers' names? Our giveaways. There it is. You got it. Yep. I right know on. It's coming. Yep. So, right now on AK's blog, if you answer the AK trivia question, you'll be entered to win a carbon fiber Best Tech Fenga. I want it. Now you do. And by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing right now, you'll automatically be under to win this True Green, not to be affiliated with the Lawn Care Maintenance Company, Best Tech Fenga. Yes. There it is again. Thanks, Best Tech. So don't miss out on your chance to get a free knife from... Atlantic Knife. Well, I dinged us anyway. Yeah. All right. It was fine. Okay. Was so back to the... Oops. Back to, to the table. table. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The Thanks. following blade is brought to you by our great friends at Weed. Are they... It is the Civivi 
Oh, Elementum. This Avivi. It's brand new. In button lock form. It's a different configuration, huh? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Somebody had to work on that pivot, I guess. Elementum. You know, they are really milking this. Are they not, guys? Come on. What did they just do? They just did oh, the, the fixed awesome. blade version. Hold on one second before you move oh, on. Uh -huh. You lock. were going to tell me that this was uh, in 14C28 steel. Yeah, the, the other one. But I'm thinking... The other models. Oh! There was other models? Yes. I didn't know Offered that. Offered in seven versions. If you let me, you know. Gotcha, go ahead. So there's brown, olive, dark green, blackout, and marble carbon fiber ones, gray, blue, red. We have the black carbon fiber one with Damascus here today. All right. See, you're on specs. <laughs> I'll get started. Oh, great. This button lock is eight inches overall with a three inch point four seven inch blade. Has jimping and depending on the version, it can be Damascus or Damasteel, satin or black stone wash. Or have 14C 28N. It can also have that as the seal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Comes to about 57, 59 on the HRC scale. 14C 28N ones. <laughs> Go ahead. Liners are stainless steel, black on some models and satin on others. Yep, handle material on these varies as we mentioned. You can get the blackout one, which has the G10. There's the brown, olive, and dark green, which are Micarta and have the 14C 28N <laughs> steel and satin finishes. And one, I think the, I want to say the olive one has the black wash. Of course, there's also the marble carbon fiber ones, all with Damascus blades. Wow. Go ahead. So what are we up to now? 37 elementums? <laughs> I think that might be undercutting it. I thought they were just going to do this one in Damascus. No, they, wow. they got it in everything. All right, so this blade operates on cage ceramic ball bearings. There it is. Yeah. And are open with gravity. And of course, you work on the pivot a little bit. Yeah. It'll be a little more gravity. It does need a little more pivot <clears throat> work. And our point one two thick. And of course, they come with left or right tip up pocket clip pouch and the infamous cleaning cloth. And guess what? There's the cleaning cloth. Free advertising. Savivi, you're welcome. And sticker. Yes. I know. <laughs> you're all excited about the sticker. Yep. Like, screw the knife. Let's get to the sticker. And it's just $64.50. They start at just $64.50. Yeah, this is not $64.50. Unfortunately, no. no. I wish it were. I think it's $101, right? Yeah, something yeah. like that. All right. Landknife.com. There it is. All right, what do I like about this knife? Well, I like the design, obviously, because I've liked it before. Yeah, have you? Um, button lock, interesting. I'll have to let you know how I really like the knife. we have to start, you have to use it somewhat and I, loosen the pivot. Yeah, loosen that pivot. Yeah. If it slides open and flies open like I want to. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be two. any XR lock or not. Yeah, I don't have the weight on the blade, be my guess. I mean, it I don't know. It, it looks well. like it wants to. It wants to be it the XR. It just needs some assistance. Yeah. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but yeah. I like the options, okay? <laughs> I will get one in marble carbon fiber, you know? The red and blue ones oh, aren't goodness. in yet, but you guys keep your eyes peeled. Mm -hmm. Sounds great to me. Is, is that it? Yes, and I don't think I need to go into why they made a button lock version. <laughs> we all know what's going on here. All yeah. right, let's just acknowledge it like the elephant in the room. Randy <laughs> Moss told us a long time ago. Exactly. So the Civivi Elementum is a great ADC and really no matter which you get, I'm sure you're going to be more than satisfied. All right. All right. Yep. All right. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Next up on the table, the Kaiser Z82. There it is. Yeah. No slow. Two versions. Only the blackout is currently available. I was building up. No, no. You ha oh, Jeez. yeah. But the gray blue one will be uh -huh. up on AK soon. Hopefully. So, this knife is 8.23 inch overall. Has a 3.47 inch N690 steel blade with jimping, boop, boop. plain edge, black stone wash finish, flat grind, and a tanto like cut. Tanto like. Handle is black G10 with four cutouts along the handle with flipper stud for quick blade deployment. Mm -hmm. Designed by Nalu Borsma. Yeah, I took the name for you this time. See, you're welcome. Good. This liner lock has a gold pivot cap accent, lanyard hole, tip-up pocket clip, and comes with a cleaning cloth. Like there I'm not it is. Show, so. And they're only 
65 bills at AtlanticKnife.com. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Well, originally I wasn't sure what I was going to say. I mean, I like the length and the tanto. But now that I'm holding it, I kind of I kind of like it a lot because it's a good size. It's good heft. It opens well. Yeah. Good heft. Yeah, I like the, the big flipper stud on the back. Mm -hmm. That way I don't have to, like, struggle to find it. It's just bam right there. I like, it's out. like that, too. Yeah. And N690 for 60 bucks ain't bad either. I mean. Yeah, plus I don't need them all the way one ounce. I actually yeah. don't mind nine ounces. It's it, It's not sagging the pants yeah, if it's a little more. Yeah, I'm not walking okay. around going, oh, man, this thing is so Dragging heavy. Dragging my jeans. I like to get something to balance out the other side. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. I might have to resend that because. I'm kind of in the same category. Two knives on both sides. You notice the little design on the flipper tab. Yeah. Yeah, I know you always notice that stuff. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's nice. Kind of reminds me of a Boker. Not a Boker Plus, but a, oh, yeah, yeah. But it, but actually a little less expensive. It's, it's not a mini knife. Okay. No, not a mini knife. All right. That's how many is that now? Oh, you're murdering everything innocent, aren't you? I kill. Uh, what was it? Ten with one blow, something mm. like that. I can't remember what it was. Okay, that brings us to the Cancept Main Street. Not the little. No, we did that one already. How many nights we gonna do today? A lot. Wow. Yeah. So when I saw the new versions of the larger ones come across your desk mm -hmm. last week, I was like, we have to do those next episode. So here they are, the Cancept Main Street. So offered in twelve. Yes. And obviously we don't have them all out here. 12 options. Somebody I mean, dropped the, the ball on this one. We have to stack them up. Didn't get 12. But we do have a few here today. All right. Just a couple. All right. All right. So this version is 8 inches overall. Mm -hmm. I like that size. Three and a half inch satin finish. 154 cm stainless steel. Whoop, Speaking whoop. my language. Worn cliff blade with jimping, which is yes. perfect for piercing and slicing. It's 0.125 inch thick. It's deployed with dual-sided thumb studs, just like the smaller version, though the smaller version is only a little more than five inches overall. Operates very well, and since it's a liner lock, you know you can easy, easily disengage it there. Mm -hmm. It's also got a tip-up red carry pocket clip, and just like the little, it was designed by Dirk Pinkerton. Handle is blue G10 on this model, though as I mentioned, there are other styles and materials to oh, choose from. Jade. Yep, there's the jewel jade one, and I have a brass one here little more heft to this one so you can also get it in like micarta carbon fiber copper anything that works wow and they start at just 7840 for the larger versions and 66 for the little main streets they also come with pouches cleaning cots so i get a 154 cm 8 inch pocket knife for 78 bucks starting because some of them are a little I more got like, the, the brass I ones a little you. more yeah. hmm I don't know. I, I usually like Jewel J, but I think I might have to gravitate towards the blue one. That's week. pretty nice because you normally don't get 154 cm under a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Penguin. This is nice. But it's titanium too. So. It's got like a and there's no backspace there, but there's like some jimping on the back of the handle, which mm -hmm. I kind of like. And I like the really straight pocket clip design. I don't know why. I just do. I don't do. Like they could they could have made it reversible since it's so like. Could have. Maybe they didn't want to waste the 14 no cents. No lefty love. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, maybe it would have been cheaper, though, because I weighed less and they cut out more. <laughs> All cut from AtlanticKnife.com. Cut a little more of a handle so Is you save. Is that it? Are we done? No. Nope. Well, there's more. All right. Last Mohicans, people. It's the Zero Tolerance Original Carbon Fiber 0762. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Right here on this show. You heard it first. Been waiting all right year here. for this thing. All right, so we're going to hit the specs on this beauty, and by we're, I mean see. Because <laughs> right. I did enough talking I to do it. I think I can do now. it. Yep. All right, so the pleasure uh, is all on this side of the table. The today. pleasure is all on this side yeah. of the table, trust me. I'm sure it is. Why don't you just all on this side? Yeah. Just, just go. I think I'm going to have a glass of water. All right. So this frame lock is a hair, and I mean a hair over 8 inches, with a 3.7 inch CPM 20 CV steel. Reverse Tonto blade with jimping, plain edge, satin stone wash finish. Handle is black carbon fiber with anodized titanium inlay. Has a tip up pocket clip, barrel spacers, a frame lock. Ooh, that's nice. Blade is open with a jimped flipper. Yes. Can't beat that. And I'm going to have to jump in now. Go ahead. Because there's a sub frame lock, people, with tuned detent system. So not too heavy, not too light. 
and it provides consistent opening, even when pressure is applied to the lock bar. All right? I wouldn't try that. Manual KVT <laughs> ball bearings, and it's only $300. Nope. From? Atlantknife.com. I think it's 320 You. I think so. You know what? When you're talking about $300, it, what's an, an extra, extra Jackson? <laughs> it's an extra. All right, I'll go first. That's, that's a good observation. What's an extra 20 Not really that important. Not really. If in California, through. it's half the tax. <laughs> Actually, in California, it would be free because you could just walk in <laughs> and take it. So it's, That's if it was on display at a Walgreens. Oh, All right. is that only applies in Walgreens? What do I like about this knife? What, I think the better question is, what don't you like? What don't I like? Wow. I know. I'm not sure I don't like anything. I don't like the price. I don't like the smell of it. You don't? No. <laughs> I don't smell anything. The price. Yeah, the price really irritates me, but I've, I've come to, to be okay with that in ZT. Yeah. I do like how they've went from really heavy folders, like the 350. Yeah. To really light, light folders. folders. They went from but the same extreme with the other. Yeah. I think it's a gorgeous piece from ZT. I mean, I like the mixing of materials. It looks really nice on this model. Mm -hmm. They went a little less vibrant with the blue, because I'm pretty sure the previous model had like a darker mm -hmm. blue, but it's still anodized and it still looks amazing, but the lockup is even better. I mean, it deploys like a $2,500 parachute should, okay? It's dependable. It opens each time. And see that? You barely got it open. And, and it's it still locked. locked. Right, yeah. I know. It just pulled itself right on up there. I mean, I think it's a great add to the collection. Yeah, ZT could have said it better themselves. Yeah, too bad they weren't paying me. All right, since that was our I bet final... I they pay better. <laughs> since that was our final carry, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. God, blasphemous, do you know where we are right now? Who's on your hat? Who's on your shirt? You have to move to Oregon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Along that's, with... That's a oh, deal breaker. Oh, you know what you did? What? I didn't land Somebody asked before. this week, how many, what's the record for plugs? I think we topped it last week with the jingle bells. Yeah, that wasn't somebody really got intended, away. but you know. So yeah. share, comment, subscribe, along with ringing the bell. Most important. Yeah. So you can only be linked to our content and notified when we drop new videos, but also so you can be entered in our giveaways. Which we are always doing. We are, we are like those machines that Mr. Papa Giorgio just keeps <laughs> putting a dollar in, okay? Every time you put it in, we, we give you a car. And where would you like to car sent, Mr. Papa Giorgio? Not exactly. We're, we're the just, Jelly of the Month Club. We're, we're the gift that keeps on giving. All year, Clark. <laughs> we're also on social media sites all year round. Yay! So make sure to check us out for daily deals, knife updates, gear photo. With that, I'm C and this is Joel. Just Joel. And we are signing off. <laughs>